Welcome back, folks. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to curve text round and round. So I'm going to start off by going to Elements, and I'm going to place a photo on my workspace. I'm going to place this photo on my workspace, and I'm going to set this image as my background. And what I want to do is I want to type a phrase that is going to go around and kind of rotate uh, inward to fill this cookie or this plate. I'm going to head on over to my apps and in my apps uh, area in the search bar, we're going to search for a an app called type curve. This is what it looks like right here. And there are a couple of different options that we can use. First thing is that there is an area uh, right here that will show you what your text will look like. It'll also show the different types of paths. Now, I'm just going to remove the text from here um, so that we can see that right now, because we don't have any text in there, um, it's not going to display the path. But as soon as we do write some text in there, um, it will display what that is going to look like. So in the text area, I am going to type a phrase, and I'll just say the best things come in small packages. That's why I dream small. Now we can see that our text goes round and round and round, but if we look here, there's also an area where we can see all types of paths, and we can uh, click the arrow to move, scroll through all the different types of paths or we can just say see all and we'll see more paths that are available. I'm going to click this one right here. And now my text is actually going to be formatted so that it's starting uh, on the outside and then it's curving around and moving its way inward. Now, below our text, we're able to select the font. So there is an area to change the font to anything else that you want to use. I'm going to leave it as Sansita. That's what I'm using. And below the font is the text color. Now I'm going to change the font color to a hot pink. So I'll move this little button all the way over to this side and I'll choose this color right here. Now for the font weight, we can see that if we toggle it downward, it becomes thinner. And when we toggle it upward, it's much, much thicker and more pronounced. Underneath font weight is the letter spacing. And as we move it to the right, um, our phrase gets chopped off at the end, so we lose our phrase. But if your phrase is smaller, that might work for you to help you spread out your phrase. I'm going to bring that back down just so that I can get all of my phrase uh, in there nicely. So I'll leave it like that and mm -hmm. I'll move over to offset. On the offset, we can toggle where your phrase is actually going to start. So if your phrase was shorter and you want to get more of it in there and you didn't want to necessarily increase the spacing or maybe changing the spacing didn't work for you, you could change the offset and that might work for you better. I'm just going to bring it back out like that. And I think I'm fairly satisfied with what that looks like. And I'm just going to add this to my design like that. So here it is right here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. If I didn't like the way this looked, maybe I want to choose a different color. I could come in here and I could actually change the color. Let's say I want to make it um, gray or black or and I want to change anything else. I'd have to add a new design on my workspace. I wouldn't be able to necessarily change the design I just made. So I'm just going to delete that second one. And I, I'm pretty satisfied with this curved text. So 
So I don't need this anymore. I'm just going to close that area. To note now is that this text, it's no longer text anymore that we can modify using that app called Type Curve. But we can use the Edit feature to enhance this image. So we can come over to our left panel and we can actually, if we want to change the color, we could use Duotone or we can use a shadow effect to add a little bit of a text effect to this text. I am going to add a drop shadow to this curved text and I'm going to increase the intensity quite a bit and I'm going to decrease the distance and I'm also going to decrease the blur amount. And I'm going to come back up. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go into adjust and I'm kind of come here into brightness and I'm going to just increase the brightness to make it more brighter like that. Now we can leave this curved text on the cookie. We can also resize it so that it is on the plate and part way on the cookie, uh, giving a little bit of a different look. So what do you think of this tutorial? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Maybe you think it sucked. I don't know. But if you did like it, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you have any other suggestions for other tutorials, drop that in the comments as well. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.